Um, anyway, have we got any chess players in the audience? Yeah. 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 No. yeah. Does anyone know what Fool's <laughs> Mate is? Yeah. What's uh, Fool's Mate? No, fool's mate, not checkmate. That's checkmate. Fool's mate is, is you get yourself in, um, in, in, in checkmate in four moves. Sequence of moves that can happen basically where one opponent gets um, into checkmate within two moves. Basically, that is fool's mate. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what this poem's called. And it goes like this. I went through a stage when I was young, teenaged. I thought I knew more than my brain contained. I used to play my dad at chess nearly every other day and I'd beat him most times. That was usually the way till I gloated one time, just a bit too much. Started giving him advice, said his strategy sucked. He said, stop, set him up. This is for real now, son. I'm not sitting on the fence. So think about attack, but remember your defense. Should we shake hands now like proper sporting gents? Yes, let's. He smiled. So I reached with the palm, all cold and clammy, not feeling as clever as when I was bragging and my pits are sweaty and my teeth are chatting and he says, go, your move. We exchange a few pawns, he takes my knight, it's the beginning of the end already in sight, I bite my lip and my stomach feels light, he says, stop, have a scotch. <laughs> now I'm 15, this just isn't right, most he's ever given me is some watered down white with my chicken and my spuds on a Sunday night, he says, sit. Don't slug. And it tickles in my chest like a red hot chilli feather and I start to fight back and I start to feel better and I'm back in the game but my face is getting redder and he says, stop. Are you sure? Now usually by now he'd be giving me straight advice saying what's your rook, be careful of that knight, mind your queen, keep the lady out of sight, he just sighs. Rolls his eyes. But I think I see his game and it's all mine tricks. He's just a bluffing poker player with a two and a six. I've got aces up my sleeve and he's going to get licked. I look tough. Take a sip. And I'm eager like a jockey standing up in the stirrups and I can't believe he's missing what I'm doing with my bishop and his queen sits squirming like a maggot on a fisher. And oh my God, in five minutes, mate, he's going to get the piss took. He says, check. <laughs> mate, in three. <laughs> And I can't see what he's saying. This incense he's conveying. There's no way that he's mating me in three. Oh, my queen, then my bishop, then my rook. Check, mate, out of luck. My king must be thinking, fuck. And there's tears in my eyes. And I start to realise, well, I thought my shit was tight. I was always open wide. And he says, son, now look. No matter where you put your men or where you build your fences, there'll always be someone seeing holes in your defences. To take your wins with grace and your losses with a smile. Because life's often like a game of chess, and it has been for a while. TikTok, 10 years, it's Strawberry Fair. Strawberry Fair is a little festival in Cambridge, a little one-day festival thing, big, big event in Cambridge. TikTok, 10 years, it's Strawberry Fair. I've just rocked my biggest crowd and I'm feeling pretty rare, single-minded on performing. Try and stop me if you dare. Fame and fortune is the end game. I can see the whole way there. I'm thinking 20 moves ahead of stage on every square, then I stop. My jaw drops. Barefoot, dirty sold on a broken deck chair. The sun weaves halos in her dreadlocked hair. She sat smiling, sly, sideways, playing Spanish guitar. And I know without trying, I'll never get far. She ignores me, eyes silent. I know she knows and doesn't care. So I just sit down and listen and try not to stare. She offers me wine, but I'm well on the wagon. She asks for the time, but my phone's out of battery. She asks for a light, and I just stare at her blankly while my heart jumps around like it thinks it's Michael Flatley. I feel stupid sat here with nothing to say. She glances up from her fretboard and cross-sections my brain. How does she do that with nothing but a look? She makes my skin creep and she, my neck goes all hot. She's so cool and contained, makes me feel half my age. Where's that big man gone now that was up on that stage? And then she starts to sing softly. And I'm home. And I'm staying. Tick tock, six months, all happy, no pain. We've loved and laughed, we feel the same. Well, up until now, because she's longing for Spain. I've got gigs need to stay, but she's off in ten days. I beg, plead and complain, but there's nothing worth saying. And I can't stop. I see red. And this mist descends, and it's got me by the tongue. I try to speak meekly, but come on too strong. I try to be reasonable, but it comes out all wrong. I keep spouting this venom. Christ knows where it's from. Like some gruesome dance, I can't stop dancing to a demon piper's song. And in the blink of an eye and a lash of my tongue, there's a change in her face, and I can see the damage done. And I reach for the palm, all cold and clammy, not feeling as clever as when I was shouting, and my pits are sweaty, and my teeth are chatting, and she bats away my hand turns her face from mine 
And I know then and there that the end's in sight. And I bite my lip and my stomach feels light. And she says, go. Now. Move. So if there's one thing I should have learned over that first dram of Highland Cream that I know now and I'll pass on when my own kid's around 15. Don't get tangled up attacking, chasing hollow victory dreams. If you've got one on the board, my boy, just take care of your queen. I've got a little bit more bitterness and then I'm going to get funny on your ass, alright? Um, okay, a little bit more. Right, basically, that one I wrote when I still thought right, I could just write something really, really beautiful and email it to her and it'd all be alright. And she'd go, oh, Alex, I've made a terrible mistake. Come back to me. I love you. It didn't fucking work, did it? So anyway, this is the, uh, the follow-up to that one that I've just done. Um, it's called No Use Writing Over Spilt Milk. <laughs> Alex had a new toy all wrapped up nice and neat. He tore up all the packaging and he doesn't keep receipts. And he played and played all night, all week, until it broke and he began to weep. Did you break your toy, Alex? Oh. Did you spit your dummy, Alex? Oh. Did you spill your milk, Alex? Oh. Well, it's no use writing over spilt milk. Not all your piety nor all your wit will help you mop up half a drip. Are you missing the kissing, the cuddles and the listening, the pretty little mouth that fits yours like a mitten? Aww. Well, sit there and pine. Spend your life wishing. Have another cigarette. Get another pint of pissing. Give those wounds a good licking. Give those scabs a good picking. Really beat yourself up. You deserve a good kicking. Aww. Are there no other fish in your sea? Won't there be other bells at your ball? Do the cliches all ring a bit truer on the other side of the wall? Is she your be all and end all, your sun, moon and stars? Is she one in a million? Is she the fuel in your car? Is she the tiger in your tank? Can't make do with that. <clears throat> well, pat your own back. You've got no one else to thank but yourself. When <laughs> you see her in the street, do you still shed a tear? Are you profound and symbolic? Will you chop off an ear? Do you hide out in hedgerows, following where she goes and sniff her saddle when she pops into the shop? <laughs> well, there's no ah for that one, because that's weird and it really must stop. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dark in your tunnel? No light at the end? Are you going round the twist? Do the heavens depend on whether she replies to the text that you send? Ah. Do they rhyme? Are they heartfelt? Are they haikus or sonics? Do you do drunken voicemails saying, I love you, pop it? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? Don't you think you should stop it? Despite her past kindness and her fabulous tits and all the love that you made and the bits that she licked, not twice your piety, not twice your wit, could change the fact that she's just spilt milk. <laughs> something, to, something to lighten the mood a little bit now after that. It's all a bit bitter, isn't it? Fucking hell, right. Something funny. How long have I got? <laughs> huh? Not enough. Long enough. Do a couple more. Stay with the bear, um, it's fine. Huh? Stay with the you, bear. You like the bitter? Yeah. We've got a bitter fan. Big hand for the bitter fan. <laughs> oh yeah! Um, right, a uh, vaguely amusing one. Right, who knows what a haiku is? Yeah. 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 Right, basically, um, I come from Cambridge. If your bike gets nicked, there's a fair chance you'll see someone riding it because it's actually a very small town. <laughs> this one's called Cambridge Cyclist. <coughs> That's my fucking bike! <laughs> you motherfucking arsehole! Oh, you fucking fuck. Thank you. <laughs>